And, uh... <laughs> I framed this whole thing so Charlie could be in the video and now she's going to go away. How's it guys? My name is Dylan and in this video I want to show you how to delete those annoying system files on your Apple computer. As someone who does a lot of video editing, this is something I discover a lot on my Mac. I go to my system preferences, click on the storage, and there's this gray line which is taking up more than half of my space on my drive. I click on manage and at the bottom left there is a system folder. I can't click on it, I can't delete it, so what do you do? If you google how to clear up space on your MacBook Pro, you'll find a whole bunch of applications and most of them are paid. You can get a free trial version for most of them, but if you want to do the proper cleanup you have to pay for it. But there is one application called Disk Inventory X. It's free and it's such a handy application to clear up space on your computer. The first thing you do is go to the link in the description and download the application. Run it and you'll see a list of drives that are on your computer. Select the drive you want to clear free space from and then click open volume. What this application does is it shows you a visual representation of all the files that are on your computer. The bigger the block, the more space it's taking up. On the right hand side, it will tell you what file types those colors represent. A few important things. Be very careful what kind of files you delete from this program because this is showing everything that's on your computer. You could end up deleting important system files that are needed for your computer to run. So in my case here, the thing that's taking up the most space are all these blue little blocks. If I click on one of the blocks, it will show me in which folder those blocks exist. I can right click on the file and click reveal in finder if I want to see where the file is. I can delete it from there or I can delete it through the application. In this case, all those blue files are cache files from my Adobe After Effects application. Unless I'm currently busy working on a project with Adobe After Effects, I can delete these files as I'm not going to be using them again. So now that I've deleted all the files, if I go back to my storage, you'll see all those system files are gone. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And if you are able to consider giving these guys a donation when you download the application, they are giving it away for free and any competitive applications out there are going for about $50. So if you have an extra $5 or something like that, give them a donation. I'm sure it will help them out. Cool. I'll see you guys in the next video.